pocket videos we have, you may have seen, we actually did a review on this one, the Space Corps Centurion. This is actually one of our favorite little wind checkers. It, it comes pre-assembled, so it was a pretty cool little set. So that's part of the Estes Space Corps lineup. This is actually one of our favorite little flyers. It looks really cool. It's only about 10 inches long. And then one that we built a long time ago is a Space Corps Corvette class. So this one actually has a little bit of damage. Uh, we tried some risky things with it, but we'll get it fixed up and we'll get it flying again one day. But one of our new things, the last time we were at the hobby shop, I asked the guy to order us some new rockets from Estes. And the first one, it's gonna be about that size. It's called the Dark One. This one is an expert level kit, right buddy? I think it's actually gonna be a pretty cool little rocket once we build it. And the other thing I kind of like about the uh, Space Core kits is that they come with a story on the back. We kind of like science fiction. So there's a cool little story. You want to go ahead and read that, buddy? The Deep Atmosphere Research Craft is one of a kind science... Scientific. Scientific vessel. Developed. Developed by Space Corp Science Division to the outer solar system. Designed Dark One is multi-section crew vessel is de designed to enter and maneuver maneuver within the thick atmospheres of Jupiter type. Worlds for steady exploration. Yeah, so it's gonna explore Jupiter type worlds. That's pretty cool. The lifting body characteristics of Dark One are ideal for atmospheric flight in dense gases and for maintaining station under turbulent conditions. All the conclusion, or at the conclusion of the research mission, the Dark One initiates return by igniting, sequentially discarding its booster section to break atmosphere and a set trajectory for home. The Dark One first became operational in 2052 and successfully surveyed the atmosphere of Jupiter, Saturn, and several other large moons before it was claimed in a tragic accident over Titan. So it's pretty cool. It's like a futuristic kit. So we like that. It says it will soar up to 400 feet on a C-53 engine. So apparently this guy's a little bit heavy, even though it's a little rocket. Uh, you can fly it with a B-62. Or a C63. So the B62, I don't think we have any of those. So if you want to do a B, we got to get those because you need a short delay. So let's go ahead and open this up. You want to open it up and let's see what's inside. All right, so that's a really unique looking nose cone. So it looks like you have to take an X Acto blade and cut all around that. So that's going to be a little bit of a daunting task for dad, but we'll do that. So let's look at the fins. Quite a bit there, nothing super special about it. And then we also have some card stock, uh, like laminated chipboard. So that's all laser cut. Here's our instructions, we'll follow those closely. This is gonna be, I think, a week build for us. A few hours here, a few hours there. Let's have a look at what the decals look like. Water slide decals, so that's pretty cool. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to brush paint this guy. Well, I think this is the body tube, that's it. So that's pretty cool. And then I think you need to mount this up in there, which we'll figure that out once we build it all. Here's all your stuff, your engine tube, comes with a 12 inch parachute, the usual Estes instructions in multiple languages. Should be a little bit of nose clay in there, we'll use that. So that all looks pretty cool. So, that'll be one rocket we're going to build out of this series, and I think that's gonna be a fun one. And we like to brush paint, it's something we can do together. Right? I was also kind of thinking that we can put some of the decals on if we want, and also... Well, we'll probably do both. We'll probably figure out our own colors we want to do. Those colors are pretty cool, but we like to use some nice bold paint schemes. All right, so that is the DARC Dark One the Deep Atmosphere Research Craft. I think that's gonna be a pretty cool little rocket. It's probably gonna be about the same size as this, but it's a little heavier. So. The next one we got out of the same line, Space Core. 
This is an alien ship. It's called the Vesta Intruder. Right? Yeah. Dad doesn't have his glasses. The, the reading on this box is a little bit, uh, a little bit small print. That's okay. So this is advanced. This kit actually is going to be much bigger. It's going to be almost two feet tall, actually over two feet tall, and it'll fly on a C113, or you can do a D123, which we might just send this guy with a bigger engine. So, 31st of July, 2076, secure channel authorized, begin transmission, extrasolar intruder detected near Vesta, intentions unknown, all stations and all vessels go immediately to maximum threat level. Hostilities may be imminent and transmission. And that's this guy's gonna go and intercept this guy eventually. It's pretty cool. It's been 21 years since the first Vesta intrusion. On June 24th, 2055, the Space Corps Corvette Patrol encountered an unknown vessel of asteroid Vesta. So this guy encountered this guy. So that's pretty cool. Upon detection, the mystery craft, which has since been confirmed to be of alien origin, vanished in a burst of blue light, leaving, leaving no trace of its presence and no indication of its purpose. Space Corps has been preparing for its return ever since. Today is July 31st, 2076, and the Vesta intruder has reappeared. At 1.11 a.m. Universal Time, the Defense Detection Network identified an unknown mass near Vesta accelerating toward the inner system. Every human outpost, colony, and station is on high alert. Space Corps is repositioning all defensive assets. The Centurion Space Fighter Fleet, so this is the Centurion, first deployed in 2061 in response to the original Vesta intrusion, is preparing to intercept and challenge the unknown spacecraft. As it approaches the settled human worlds and outposts, the origins and intentions of the Vesta intruder remain unknown. Is this the first strike of an alien invasion or the emissary of an interstellar alien? For 21 years, Space Corps prepared for this moment. Now, all of humanity watches and waits. It's pretty cool, man. So let's open this guy up. Even the box art is awesome on this. Yeah, this is a pretty cool looking rocket. Ooh, that's a neat looking nose cone. That looks like an alien spacecraft. There's the body tube, all of our stuff. There's nothing else in there. So that's pretty cool. So it says it stands at two feet tall. So What's this little thing? I don't know, don't, it might just be leftover plastic. But always save little parts too. I always like to look at it first to see if it's, because we do brush paint, we kind of use some matte colors. So it makes it a little hard. Look at these, these are like kind of paper overlays. That's pretty cool, card stock. Oh, okay, so they overlay over your balsa wood. So that's a little bit complicated to do, but you take your time with the gluing, and I think we're gonna be okay. There's all sorts of stuff. Wow. Wow, well, we'll see how it goes once we build it. There's some nose clay. There's our instructions. We're gonna build these. This is probably gonna take us a couple weeks overall. Yeah, look at those decals, those are pretty so we have all sorts of cool colors by Ravel. So we might, what color does that look like? Like a dark green? We might paint it a little bit lighter, I think. So it's not quite so dark, but I think it's gonna be a really cool ship. What do you think? You ready to start building? All right, man. Hey everybody, how's it going? We've had a few new rockets built for quite a few weeks. We started out and we built our dark one the deep atmosphere the research one. vessel. Oh yeah, little girl's got the Space Core rocket. So we're gonna fly this guy today. This is a new build. It's been quite a few weeks. We've had bad weather and everything else. And then the other one we built was the Vesta Intruder by Estes. This one's actually super cool. It's gonna fly on a D-12-3 today. But first, we're gonna start out with our Space Corps Centurion rocket. That's kind of our wind checker. And then little girl is messing around. We'll mix in our Space Corps Corvette class rocket. This one had a bad flight a while ago. We made some repairs. We'll see how it flies today. Right, little girl? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Are you ready, man? All right, we're gonna start out with the Space Corps Centurion, see how the day goes. 
All right, so get our leads hooked up. Clean the clips, so hopefully we don't have any ignition problems. All right, there's your ignition key. All right, we're gonna stay back, little girl. Yeah, and we're just gonna watch it fly. All right, this is our first flight of the day, Space Corps Centurion. That's always a great flyer. Got a B64, and it's got a little streamer, and it's coming down. Go ahead and get it, little girl. She loves to be on the recovery team. Excellent. All right, bring it back. That's always a great flyer, right, buddy? Oh, yeah. We're on to the next one. Hey, this is our dark one. First flight. To warm up today. Beautiful day with no wind. All right, first flight for the dark one. We finally have some good weather. Dad will get out of the way. The boys are ready to launch. Launch pad is clear, right, buddy? Count it down. Five, four, three, two, one, left. And there it is, it was delayed. Whoa, that's kind of a wild flyer. There we go, there's our shoot. Nice. Yeah, and then little girl's on the recovery team. Go get it, little girl. Awesome job. Look for the red parachute. That was a fun flyer. It's a little bit twirly, but it was cool. All right, we're setting up Space Corps Corvette class to check out the skies. Count it down. Straight up into the air. Look at that. I see a rainbow. It's a high flyer. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Looks like we did a pretty good job of repairing it. All right. Now, we're going to switch out to a 3 16th launch rod. Brand new stainless steel rod. A little bit bigger blast plate. Looks like we have the alien Vesta intruder spotted in the sky. We're going to see. Our fleet of Space Corps rockets and shake this one away. Got my clip. Here we go. The Vesta Intruder. We have our new Vesta Intruder ready for its first flight on a D 12 3. Are you ready, buddy? Launch pad is clear. Go ahead and get that key in. Count it down. Five, four, three, two, one, blast. Straight up on the Vesta Intruder. Wow, it is gone. That was a great flight, just straight up. That's a 15 inch parachute. Nice, it's gonna land in the field. Nice landing. Oh yeah, nice job little girl. You found the Vesta Intruder. Good job, awesome.